Hey everybody, welcome to another video. This is going to be the 6th edition Inquisition Codex. Yes, we're starting a new series. Uh, I'm going to be dealing with Warlord traits and the different or for the different Ordoses. Let me get right into it. If your army includes an Inquisitional Detachment, you can nominate one Inquisitor, including Inquisitor characters, to be your army's warlord instead of a character from your primary detachment instead so it doesn't need to be nominated as your primary detachment for you to pick an inquisitor to be your warlord this is a very important thing <clears throat> especially if you have other rules which are tied to your other codexes that you're using which means that they need to be the primary detachment. You don't need to make the inquisitorial detachment your primary detachment to make an inquisitor your warlord. Boom. When you do this, let's see. An inquisitor warlord can roll on the appropriate table below instead of on one of the warlord traits of the warlord. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, just like the other inquisitor codexes, you have the different ordoses. Well, they have a whole... Warlord trait, individualized for each of the Ordos, Hereticus, Malleus, and Xenos. Let's start with Hereticus. One, unquestioned wisdom. This Inquisitor has unbending determination and a clinical understanding of how to achieve his goals. What does that mean? It means the Warlord and his unit can choose to pass or fail any morale checks they are called upon to make. Rind reader of the Tarot. The Emperor's Tarot holds many secrets for an Inquisitor. Skilled enough to read it. Okay, that's nice. What does that mean? It means whilst the Inquisitor, war the Warlord, is alive, you can roll two dice and choose the result you want when rolling for reserves. Outflank, mysterious terrain, or, and this is a good one, mysterious objectives reserves outflank mysterious terrain or mysterious objectives roll two dice pick the one you want that means you can choose to fail for the reserve roll if you want to delay it or whatever boom burner of worlds None can hide from this Inquisitor's wrath, even if he must burn an entire world to root out his quarry. Once per game, your Warlord can call down an orbital attack in his shooting phase. This counts as firing a ranged weapon of the profile below. Range, infinite. Strength, 10. AP, 1. Type, ordnance blast. And barrage. And a large blast. And it's orbital. What does orbital mean? It means if an arrow is rolled on the scatter die, an orbital bombardment always scatters the full D6. The Warlord's ballistic skill makes no difference. That's what that means. So you get one just lance blast per game anywhere on the table. Nice. <clears throat> Witch Hunter. The Inquisitor is a seasoned master in the ways of hunting rogue psychers. The Warlord and his units have preferred enemy against psychers special rule. Iron Will. Such is the Inquisitor's force of beliefs and righteousness of his cause that enemy sorcerers cannot find purchase upon his soul. The Warlord has Adamantium Will special rule. That's 5 plus... Um, Deny the witch rule. Master of interrogation. No heretic can conceal their master's battle plans once within this inquisitor's interrogation chamber. Enemy infiltrators cannot set up anywhere within 24 inches of the warlord. That seems very, very situational. Ordo Malleus warlord traits. Unquestioned wisdom. This Inquisitor has unbending determination and a clinical understanding of how to achieve his goals. I guess. I just read that. And you know what it does then. It means 
pass or fail any morale checks. And then the next one is Reader of the Tarot, followed by Burner of Worlds. I see, so it's only it's only the first three are always the same. Now let's go on to four then. Demon Hunter. The Warlord and his units have preferred enemy demons. There you go. So all four are the same. So this one's going to be preferred enemy demons. The next one is going to be before a previous one was preferred enemy psychers for Hereticus. Well, so what is it? Does it have any different? Ah, okay. Five and six are different. One F and number five, incorruptible. All units with the demon special rule within 12 inches of the warlord suffer a negative one penalty to their invulnerable save. Down to negative uh, to, to six plus. This is cumulative with any other modifiers, which will be in the equipment section of the video. Forbidden lore. If the warlord is a psyker, he generates one additional warp charge point in each of his turns. If the warlord is not a psychic, he gets the adamantium will special rule. One plus one warp charge. Nice. So, Ordo Zenith's traits. Unquestioned wisdom, reader of the tarot, burner of worlds, Xenos hunter. Da, 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 da. Oh, he have they have preferred enemy when targeting any not enemy non vehicle units from the following codexes: Dark Eldar, Eldar, Necrons, Orcs, Tau Empire, and Tyranids. Now I find that interesting that they actually specifically list the codexes because. Does this mean this rule is going to be amended every time a new codex comes out? Imperial Knights! So I guess they can't, they can't, oh, I see what they're saying, it's only Xenos. They can't, they can't pick any Imperial Army, obviously. Gotcha. Xenos Tech Collector. The Warlord has a 6 plus and vulnerable save. In addition, select one of the Warlord's ranged weapons. That weapon gets plus one strength and rending for the duration of the battle. Ha! The Warlord gets a six plus invul save and whatever weapon he carries, plus one strength and rending. Nice. Purity of mankind. The Warlord and his unit have the hatred special rule against everybody. Wham! Those were the Inquisitional Warlord traits. See you next time. Bye.